Well, welcome back to Stage Zero Life Sciences channel on a mission to help reduce the incidence of late stage cancer through early intervention. Uh, joining us to give us uh, some in-depth ideas on how the company is currently growing. James, the CEO, as always, welcome back, sir. Thank you, Kyle. Good to be here. Always love having you back on. So as the company continues to, uh, to expand here in the last short while, you put together a lot of partnerships. Do you want to discuss how these are currently affecting the company and how you see it perhaps uh, impacting revenue down the road? Yes, it's actually beginning to bite rather well. Um, you, you, you put strategies in place and you're clearly getting the partnerships as first and foremost. After that, it becomes a matter of execution. So if I look at um, very concrete examples that we can talk to very publicly, um, let's go down, for example, part of what we've been doing on the care oncology side, and then we'll move across to how it, how it touches all of the state zero pieces, as well as impact on revenue. And so the build out, the build out on the care oncology side, as I think people have seen, is that we we, we have the care the core protocol. We've expanded the core protocol so that we've got a lot more measurement around it. In addition to that, we've added the, the nutritional piece. We've added the mental health piece. We're adding the second nutritional piece. And that's taken off exactly the way we expected. Um, we've been invited to speak at a number of symposia. We're taking part in podcasts. We've been approached by partners from all kinds of different areas that we had never anticipated before. Um, we're getting clinics and physicians asking if they can join us, not only be affiliated with what we do, but actually perhaps join the full team. So we're expanding it and expanding it. it, it, it it's absolutely great. It obviously gives us a tremendous amount of news flow, which we can put out into the marketplace, and we're watching all of our, our following bill. And it's taking us into a new demographic. We're getting new patients from areas we hadn't looked at before as we have gone through. And so all of that's building. And so you use this as a little bit of a stalking horse to show that the strategy is right. It takes you down the path you want. So that, that's going exactly there. Then you move to an agreement, for example, like my one medical source, that's a thousand um, individual lab groups or connection points that we're working with. We're in the process of onboarding all of those right now, and that's a two-way street. We bring them into our system, they bring, them in, they bring us into their system, and we begin to take all of our programs through. We will drive business into them, but additionally, they will drive business into us because they take our programs out. You leverage that into the employer side, which is where we're going. I think we've talked a lot about nutritional groups as well. We take it into that. We're already moving down those paths. And as we bring it in, it builds and builds and it builds. Remember, the key thing with this is we said it takes us from being a, a single um, LDT lab, high complexity lab, and it instantly puts us countrywide into a thousand partners. That's huge. Um, now, we're bringing the additional group up as well, all of that running too. How does this affect revenue? Um, we get a lot of questions around this. Our revenue is, is very commingled and it's deliberate because if you're a lab, if you're just a single lab, you do a single test and it's done. You've got to go find the patient, you've got to do the test, you get a single payment, it's done. In our case, we don't do that. We're much, we're much more than that. As we bring the patients in, I guess it's often called stickiness. And so as the patients come in, they typically stay with us for at least a year or two years. So there's multiple tests, multiple opportunities to, to work with them, multiple consultations. It's all very, very intertwined. And so as a result of that, you don't just get X revenue, you have the ability to get two, three, four X in terms of revenue, and that's huge. And that absolutely sets us apart from most other groups. Well, I definitely appreciate the insights, and it sounds like you're in a, a pivotal growth phase for uh, 2024, but I'll pass that question off to the viewers. We'd love to know what you think in that comment section below, and consider subscribing because when news hits the wire, of course, we're going to bring it to you here. But on that, as always, we look forward to catching you in the next one.